Hey guys, I'm Gardner from Linode, your friendly neighborhood developer advocate. Today we're going to review how to set up a WordPress instance using Linode's one-click app system, as well as configuring your DNS settings to point to your new WordPress instance. Let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is log into your registrar where you bought your domain, and you're going to want to uh, update your DNS servers so that they're actually using Linode's name servers. Um, if you're not clear how to do this, there's documentation below that should help you get started on that. And if you're really lost, you can head over to DuckDuckGo or something, type in the name of your uh, registrar, and then followed by change name server. And that should give you your registrar's documentation on how to do just that. But seeing as there's so many registrars out there, I can't actually go over every single uh, one of them. So we're just going to assume that you have already done this in this tutorial. <laughs> the next thing you'll wanna do is log into the Linode Cloud Manager. On the left, there is Marketplace. If you click on that and select WordPress, which is the very first one on here. Uh, now we scroll down and we can add information. Now each of these is going to uh, be something different. So you're gonna to wanna to supply an email address. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to set a uh, admin username uh, as well as an admin password. You're also going to have to create a MySQL password. Uh, this should be different uh, than the password you're using to log into your WordPress. Create a password for your WordPress database. So that's going to be something that you would want to be different than the other one. So these, sh these should all be different, hypothetically, all three of these passwords. You'll need to remember your admin password, but you don't need to remember uh, your MySQL root password or WordPress database password, unless you plan on going in and changing things in there. The, uh, the website title can be changed later, but you can set it here if you have a name for your blog. And here you'll, you'll want to supply your domain name uh, if you have one set up. Linodians.net. For region, we're going to select uh, whichever data center is actually closest to you physically or one that's closest to your audience. I'm going to choose Newark, New Jersey because I'm in the Northeast United States. WordPress doesn't require a whole lot of horsepower, so we can get away with a one gigabyte $5 Linode. Let's give our Linode a name. Let's call it World's Best WordPress. Why not? <laughs> Uh, tags are for sorting purposes. You can add a tag if you'd like. And then you want to enter a root password. This is the password you will use to log into this Linode over SSH. You can supply an SSH key if you have one. If not, don't worry about it. And then uh, go ahead and hit create. It should take about two to five minutes to fully provision your Linode. In the meantime, we can copy our IP address and then head over to domains to start setting up our domain. Now this is assuming you've waited about 24 hours for your uh, registrar to have updated the DNS records across the web to use Linode's DNS manager. So you're going to want to go to your domain and click on your domain. Uh, if you haven't created it, click add a domain, type in your domain and the SOA email address. That's the one you use to register that domain. And then uh, you can insert default records from one of my Linode's. And when you do that, you can select uh, whatever Linode you just created. That should take care of the process, but we'll walk through setting up this uh, manually. So if you click on your domain and then scroll down and add an A record, you can type in your host name, which would be an at symbol if you're using the uh, just the top level domain. Uh, if you're using a subdomain, you would do something more like um, uh, WordPress. So I wanna use the top level domain, so we're just gonna do at. And then we can add our IP address and hit save. And it should be that easy. Hypothetically, if you wanna be fastidious about it, you can head back over to world's best WordPress and uh, copy the uh, IPv6. Go ahead and add another A record at and your IPv6. And now you've configured your DNS records. It does take a while for DNS records to replicate across the web, so uh, for instance, this might take up to 24 hours uh, to set this up. So if you go ahead and type in your IP address into your address bar, it should come up with your WordPress site. If I type in linodians.net, that actually came up. Oh, wow, that actually happened really fast. 
Probably won't be able to uh, provision an SSL certificate yet, but we'll try it anyway. So we're on our WordPress site now. Uh, it was that easy. If you go in to log in, you're gonna want to uh, type in the information that you set up earlier. So now we've logged into the back end of uh, WordPress and uh, there's not a whole lot you need to do here. Head over to your settings and uh, your WordPress URL, your WordPress address, uh, that's going to be incorrect when you uh, open that up. So go ahead and type in linodians.net or whatever yours is. And generally, you're going to want to do... All right, we're, and so we've set up our WordPress here. We are almost done. Uh, the next and last thing that you're going to want to do is log in via SSH. So let's go ahead and do that. So now that we're logged in, you're gonna to wanna to double check that you have a virtual host configured in Apache. So let's do that. Let's CD into etc. Apache 2, sites enabled. Let's list what's in there. We have wordpress.conf. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, nano wordpress.conf. So we have an Apache virtual host pointing to the correct directory, but it does not have the correct domain name. So let's go ahead and fix that. Let's just comment that code out with a with a hash mark. Server name would be linodians.net or whatever your uh, domain name is. We can uh, hit control X, hit Y for yes, you wanna overwrite, and then press enter to overwrite that file. Then we'll need to system CTL reload Apache to so now we have Apache configured with the domain name properly set up as a virtual host. The last step we're gonna to need to do is type in um, apt install certbot and then python dash certbot dash Apache. And we're gonna hit enter. Now I'm, now I'm recording all of this all in one go, certbot might not succeed right now because I haven't given uh, the DNS records for linodians.net uh, enough time to actually replicate across the web. And uh, certbot might not pick up on uh, the correct DNS configuration, but we're gonna try it anyway. So we're gonna type in certbot dash dash Apache, enter the email address. Uh, so we can go ahead and use the same email address we used before. And we'll just say no to that because I'm already a subscriber of the Electronic Frontier Foundation. And here you'll see uh, the domain that you we've just configured in our virtual host. Uh, so we'll hit one. Um, and hypothetically, if you were doing this on a system with multiple virtual hosts, you would see all the domain names there. Uh, you'll want to select just the numbers that you want to provision this SSL certificate for. Uh, so we'll just hit one and then we'll hit enter. This This is where we might fail because I haven't given it enough time for... Um, replicating DNS records. Wow, it succeeded. Uh, okay, so it succeeded, that's cool. So now what we wanna do is type in number two because we want to redirect all HTTP requests to HTTPS, making it more secure. So we'll hit uh, two and then hit enter. And there we go. Now, when we go to linodians.net, it redirects us to HTTPS. How awesome is that? All right, so your WordPress is all set up now. Uh, from here, configuring it and customizing it is all up to you, because uh, you really know what's best for your blog. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate you being here. Make sure you hit subscribe to stay up to date with all the cool stuff we're doing here on Linode's YouTube channel. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.